Hey guys, it's Janae, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my glueless frontal wig. The frontal that I'm going to be using today is 22 inches and it's also 13 by 6. The bundles that I'm going to be using is different than the frontal and it's from Gardenia Hair and I'm going to be using 24 inches, 26 and 28. I purchased the frontal from AliExpress and I'll have the link down below and the bundles are from the hair store. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is taking this quick glue bleaching powder and just pouring it into a bowl. Then I'll be taking 40 volume developer and adding into the bleach. I don't really measure how much I put. I just do it until I get the right consistency. As you can see, the consistency started to get too runny for me, so I just went and added some more bleaching powder. And then when it began to get too clumpy, I went and added more developer. So now I'm just taking some got to be glue freezer spray and I'm just spraying any flyaways or baby hairs that will get in the way of the bleaching process. And you don't really have to use the same um, spray, but you can use like hairspray or whatever. And then now I'm just going to take a brush and brush it all back. So now I'm just going to apply the bleach and I'm using a fork, but of course you can use whatever. So when you're applying the bleach, you want to push the bleach through the lace just a little bit, like a tiny bit, to the point where it gets on top of the knots. But you don't want to push it through too much to where your roots start to turn blonde. And sometimes it'll happen to me and it happened to me in this video as well but i didn't push the bleach through enough and when i washed the bleach off my knots were still unbleached so i had to go back in the second time and you'll see that and i had to re-bleach it again just so the knots could be bleached So right now I'm just showing you guys the second time that I went in and bleached the frontal. So I went ahead and placed the wig cap on top of the wig head but before I did that I placed it on top of my head and I got a little makeup pencil and I traced the outline for the frontal. And that's what I was showing you right here. Now I'm just taking the hair and I'm placing it to see how long I want it before I cut it and glue it on. And that's really how the whole process of me placing the tracks on is going to go. Here I am showing the frontal after I cut the sides to make it smaller so it's able to fit my head better. 
so now I'm just gonna place the frontal on the wig cap And when I place the wig cap on, I like to make sure that the frontal is over the wig cap just a little bit, like an inch or so. Drum keys on the beat. And now I'm just going back to finish placing the tracks on before I go back and secure the frontal. Drum keys on the beat. Now I'm done with everything and off camera I went and sewed down the frontal because when I was trying to record that part the tracks were actually covering it and making it hard to see so I just turned the camera off and did it off camera. Now I'm going to spray the whole frontal with the got to be glue freezing spray because next I'm going to fix the over bleach knots with some hair dye and I don't want it to mess up the lace. I'm going to be using a door off black hair dye to fix the over bleach knots. And I'm going to be using an edge brush to apply it.
keys on the beat. Since I wanted the hair to be a little darker, I used the same hair dye and applied it all over the wig. And yeah, I used the plastic bag because I couldn't find any hair gloves, but then I just ended up using my hands. So now it's time for me to pluck the frontal and I'm just gonna part behind the hairline. And once I part it, that's where I'll begin to pluck. When you're plucking, you don't want to pluck in just one spot because then it'll start to look like a bald spot. And for the whole plucking process, I just really went to different sections and just parted it and, and plucked where I felt was needed. If you guys would like a whole video dedicated to me plucking my frontals, then comment below. Drum keys on the beat. Once I finished plucking everything, I just went and cut off the excess weight cap. And when doing this, you don't want to cut too close to the stitching because if you do, then it'll start to unravel and you'll have to sew that part again and it can mess up your wig. Now I'm just going to take the piece that I cut from the wig cap and I'm going to be cutting off the mesh part and saving the band because that's what I'm going to use for, uh, for the wig band. And I'm going to be cutting it a little shorter just so it's not too big. Now I'm just going to take the band and sew it onto each side of the frontal.
Now for the final step, I'm going to be applying some wig clips. And to do that, I'm going to be using some nail glue because I didn't really have any other glue to use. And I got these wig clips from Amazon, but I know that they sell them in a hair store as well. Also, I'm only going to be applying three wig clips to the back of the wig. And that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on my post notifications so you won't miss when I post a new video. Be